Welcome back guys. Just about a year ago, I made a video about the rules and regulations of the impact player rule in IPL. Here I am talking about the impact that the impact player rule has had in IPL 2024. So the topic is the impact player rule is a blessing or a curse. Well, before going into the video, there is a good news. Finally, Crick Pundit has achieved 1000 subscribers. Yes, but it took me about 3 years and 2 months to get it. To be precise, it took me 1155 days. Yes, but still, it is an achievement and a big big thanks for everyone who has subscribed to my channel. And as a next step, I have decided to start podcast on this channel. Yes, a podcast, but I have no idea about the frequency of the videos. But still, there will be a podcast in Crick Pundit for you guys. The impact player rule is a blessing or a curse. It is totally based on what do you expect from it. If you want IPL to be a 20 over tournament which entertains the fans during the summer vacation or you want to attract more fans who don't watch cricket or if you want to fill the stands completely or you want to break the records of the broadcasting records or the IPL viewership, whatever you want, it is a win for you. Because the total, the average number of sixes scored in a single game, it is already more than 15. And the total number of 250 plus totals in the first 15 seasons was just 1. And in the last 2 seasons, it is 8 just because of the impact player rule. Because the batters who are batting at the top 3 or 4 knows that there will be a capable batter will be coming in at 8. So they are taking more risk which is paying off so that we are seeing run fest after run fest in this tournament. Or, on the contrary, if you expect IPL to be the talent scouting tournament which gives new match winners for the national team, no, it's not working. The impact player sub is not working for the Indian team at all. Because what is they lacking? What is that one thing which they don't have? Bowlers who could bat and batters who could bowl. And because of this impact substitute rule, a species called the all-rounders are on the verge of extinction. Yes, it is a bit exaggerated, but that is what happening. A proper batter is being subbed out by a proper bowler and a proper bowler is being subbed out by a proper batter. Because of that, the all-rounders just have a few roles to play. Here are the few players who are getting affected by the impact sub rule. First one is Rinku Singh. Rinku Singh at number 5 is what Team India wanted. But Rinku Singh at number 7 is what KKR is giving us. Washington Sundar. Washington Sundar is not a wicket taker with the ball. So SRH is not using him as an impact sub when they are bowling. And Washington Sundar is not a big hitter with the bat. So SRH is not using him as a batter when they are batting. And Shivam Dubey. Yes, Shivam Dubey is having the greatest of time with the bat. But when was the last time you saw him bowling? And finally, Rahul Tevatya. He is still finishing games for GT with the bat in the death overs. But he has not bowled for GT in the last two years. Maybe one or two overs here and there. So players like these who have played for the national team, who have the potential to play for the national team are not getting utilized completely or some are just not getting, not even getting a chance to play in the playing level because of impacts. Well, the one thing has to be acceptable is that yes, it is fun to watch a lot of sixes and boundaries scored, a lot of wickets taken, huge targets have been achieved and they are being chased down. It is fun to watch every match is going down to the last ball, last over. But still, there is a bigger picture coming up. There is a T20 World Cup, which is right after the IPL. So the 15-man squad for that T20 World Cup will be selected based on the performances of this IPL. So according to this IPL, Rinku Singh doesn't even get a chance to be in that plane for the T20 World Cup. So will you select Ashutosh Sharma in place of Rinku Singh? No. Will you, will you drop Mohamed Siraj and get T Natarajan? Or will you get Harshit Rana for the T20 World Cup? No. What do Team India want? Team India want a backup for Hardik Pandya. Who are the possible backup? Shardul Thakur and Shivam Dube. Shivam Dube hasn't bowled a ball in the IPL for the two years. Shardul Thakur has played just five games in the last two years. So where it is going? The impact sub is completely not working for Team India in the longer run. The other one solution that I could give for this situation is that a team could have two playing levels. One is if they bat first 
and the other if they bowl first. So they can name the playing eleven based on the toss, based on the result of the toss. It's all because I don't see this impact sub rule in the longer run in the IPL because we all know there's a big mega auction coming up next year and a lot of players would be retiring the composition of the teams would be changing so I think it's just for I mean this might be the last season for the impact sub so that's it guys please let me know about your thoughts on this impact sub rule whether it is working for you or not working for you and once again a big thanks for the first thousand subscribers of Crick Pundit you guys are unique and there is a podcast series coming in here in Crick Pundit and please do watch out for that